Hello, I'm Andy, and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope from Sunday the 2nd of September up to the 8th of September. And this is for you coming from Taurus. So let's see what I'm going to do on Sunday the 2nd for you. It's going to be a fabulous, wonderful morning, afternoon period for you. Couldn't be better, except there's one nasty planet who wants to bring unexpected upsetness. So tell yourself, double check all plans, double check all timetable because this upsetness can become something that makes you very rebellious and angry. But otherwise, I like your morning-afternoon period very much because the main planets there are going to make you very happy, whether for emotional areas, whether if you are meeting the people you work with, whether you are meeting the people you do business with. It's going to be satisfying morning-afternoon and the results are going to be very good. Try not to be rebellious. Try not to be oversensitive and try not to be too moody and you'll do better. Evening nightfall I don't like. Finally we go to the evening nightfall period and there's a little group of planets waiting for you. And what they're going to do, they firstly they're going to upset you by upsetting your plans. So let's get started from there. And then they're going to make your behavior very not negotiable. And that makes you very rebellious to many people. And so what do you do? Well, try not to be rebellious, try not to be unnegotiable. Be appreciative, be supportive. And then you will let this morning afternoon planners do better in the evening nightfall. Otherwise things are going to be very bad in the evening nightfall period and watch out accidents are also possible. Monday the 3rd, morning afternoon not very good. At your place of work differences with your bosses or your colleagues or the manager. Things are going wrong and in business you may meet some kind of hurdles and obstacles and have difficulty with business partner or the people you do business with. It's an upsetting day in the morning afternoon and they will, these planets will instigate you to be stubborn and to be dominating. Don't. Tell yourself, I will not do that. I will do the opposite. I will be negotiable. I will be flexible. And that way you will confuse these planets. They'll quieten down. They'll quieten down and you can control them. Evening, nightfall, very fast planets are there and I don't like them either. These are planets that make you hasty, impatient and very argumentative. They make your tongue just go faster and faster than your brain even. And so control your tongue <coughs> in the evening, nightfall period. Or it's all going to get add up with arguments. Now these fast planets can change plans very quickly. So you've got to be on, on the timetable, you've got to find out again and again whether there are plans and changes made. So upset like this are seen. And of course being fast planners, they make you impatient, hasty, so drive carefully. Something bad is waiting to happen evening, nightfall. It could be verbally, it could be emotionally, it could be physically. So watch out in the evening, nightfall period. So not a good Monday the 3rd. Tuesday the 4th starts horribly for you. You get up in the morning and something is said and you get angry. Or you say something and everybody gets angry. So don't say anything, I suppose. Just be happy, be negotiable. Because these planets are the planets of unexpectedness. So unexpected things may come up. And that will make you very defensive or very offensive. Because these are the planets like that. They attack people, which means that you attack people. And so tell yourself not to show rebelliousness, but try to show supportiveness and you will quieten these planets. Well, these planets are going to be with you when you drive. So don't take shortcuts and follow rules and regulations because these couple of planets want you not to follow rules and regulations. And when you receive your, when you go to work at your place of work or if you are going to your business station at your business place, then tell yourself, I have to follow rules and regulations and I have to follow plans already made. Don't come there suddenly and say, we are going to do it this other way. That's how all the problems start. So you don't want to single yourself out for disrupting teamwork. Don't do that or it becomes a very bad morning afternoon period. But I like your evening nightfall period very much. There are a couple of planets there that are romantic, that are imaginative, that make you look wonderful, that make you behave wonderfully. They do. But this nasty one from the morning afternoon would like to come and disrupt it once in a while. And so once in a while you say something shocking or do something shocking. Try not to do that. Remind yourself. It can be done. You can control all these planets by just 
having listened to me firstly and secondly being in a position where you are taking charge. Well, I like your evening nightfall very much. Romance is in the air and you're going to get the advantage for something. So mix business and pleasure if you want. Go out with the people you work with. Some reward of some kind or chase for the romance like mad. You're going to be rewarded for something or another. So go all out, dress well, look your best. Now we'll go to Wednesday the 5th for you coming from Taurus. Not a very good morning afternoon period. Simply for the sense that you might miss out deadlines. Why? Because you're looking for shortcuts and you're going to get things wrong. Miscommunication, miscalculation. So stick to the rules at your place of work. Stick to the rules in business. Even stick to the rules at home with whoever you are before you leave for work. Otherwise, arguments start, disruption starts and deadlines go missing. So you are under stress basically, these planets put you under stress because you may have too much to do. So to get a piece of paper, write out exactly what you need to do urgently on this morning afternoon of Wednesday the 5th and only do that. Don't worry about the other stuff and you will get that done at least and things will be fine. Otherwise you will have 10 things to do and you could, couldn't do even one. That's how these planets work. But they bring miscommunication in a way that you do things very fast. These are mental planets, so they make you mentally very alert in a strange way. But perhaps too much to do, so have this technique of writing things down. Evening nightfall becomes fantastic. Now global planets have arrived in the evening nightfall period, so I use them to tell you that go onto the internet and you'll find many solutions or many opportunities, whether for the romance, the friendship, whether for job areas, whether for business areas. So keep yourself busy on the internet in the evening. You're going to be satisfied by the outcome. But you need to focus because these planets of the morning will also be there. And these planets of the morning, they take away your focus. So you're trying to do everything and zing zang and nothing works. So focus in the evening nightfall t-shirt, uh, you'll get things done well in the evening nightfall. Now, even if you're not on the internet and you're going out to be with people, it's going to be wonderful as well, very enjoyable. But just stay away from any argument because the morning afternoon planets will make your tongue go faster than your brain sometimes. Thursday the 6th, that's a fantastic morning afternoon period. Anything you do at your place of work, anything you do in business, you will be rewarded because you will do it magnificently. Such is the power of planets. When they are on your side, they just make you do the right thing. You touch the right buttons. When they are not on your side, the, even your brain, which is working so hard, goes wrong. And so lapses are seen. But I like your Thursday 6th morning afternoon period very, very much. You can get rewards. So concentrate, whether at work, whether in business, concentrate on what you want. Have lunch with somebody because something good may happen even for lunch. Or be with the people you love, if you like. There's a bonding. So chase for the romance morning afternoon period. I don't like your evening nightfall at all. Planets are very slow and when they go slow, they bring delays, they bring frustration, they bring depression, they bring cancellation of plans, postpone of everything. So there's disappointment waiting. Now these slow planets, if you, well, they'll force you to go slow because you can't go faster than your own planets. So they force you to go slow. And what happens then? You get impatient, you get hasty, you want to go faster. And that's where you are no man's land when you come back empty-handed. Now, can you wait? Well, if you wait, the development hour by hour is worse. <laughs> so you don't want to expose yourself to any risk. Go back to the safety of your own home. Be there. Never mind. Hours will pass. But if you have to be out, be patient. Don't get unnecessarily argumentative or unhappy with people. Just be patient and let the hours pass or move away from that group. Friday the 7th, what a wonderful morning, afternoon it is and what a terrible evening and nightfall it's going to be. That's the extremeness that you can see. So Friday the 7th, global planets are there. So go on to the internet and you're going to find many solutions that you're looking for for betterment of work, betterment in business, betterment of friendship, betterment for new romance, all waiting for you morning, afternoon period. And it's a working day, so you've got to go on the internet, not for the fun of it, but to find solutions for your work or your business. It's possible and you'll find some solutions there. And also, if you're not on the internet, you'll find that whatever you do, you seem to be lucky. 
So you see, when planets like these are there, even if you make a mistake, nobody notices. And so you're going to get away with anything, but try to focus on what you want. You can't get everything under the sun in this morning, afternoon period. Try to focus and you're going to get something lovely. Chase the romance, chase for the friendship, go for an interview for a job if you want, or apply at least. In business, chase for the business and it can be global. I like your, oh I don't, your evening nightfall is terrible. It's terrible, it couldn't be worse. Accidents can be seen and accidents can be physical, emotional and verbal. All three might happen and you'll see red, which means you'll see anger in the evening nightfall period. You are easily provoked and you can get violent or you could just, your tongue could be as sharp as the blade. Everything to go wrong happens in the evening nightfall period. Well, you've heard it from me. What do you do? You stop being difficult. You stop being conf confrontative. You stop being violent in your behavior. You stop being angry. You don't show your temper. And that way these planets will look at you and say, my God, what are we going to do with this guy or this gal? And so they'll leave you alone because they can't get through to you. And that's the powerful way. So repeat to yourself in the evening nightfall, I have to take the soft approach. Use words which are soft, a tone of voice which is soft, a body language which is soft. Who wouldn't love you if you have, if you do all that? Who wouldn't love you? And you'll get away with it in the evening nightfall session. You would, but be careful. Accidents are seen. So just, just be careful and don't, don't expose yourself to risk. Be careful of the company you keep. Be careful where you are. Drive slowly. Let's go to Saturday the 8th. It doesn't start too well. Planets are very slow. Energy is very low. Frustration comes easily. Depression walks through the door. Delays are seen. Postponements can happen. So with all this happening, and if you want the morning afternoon to do well, you have to be alert. And you have to plan very carefully. And there's going to be a blame on somebody or another. So you don't want to take the lead. You don't want to take charge. You don't want to plan. Lie low, be in the company of people. When things go wrong, you can at least not be blamed. That's the best way. Somebody else may have a better horoscope than you on this Saturday the 8th. And let them handle it and they will handle it well that way. And you will just escape all the problems and just have good time in the morning, afternoon. It's possible. Stay away from people you know from the past because some of them are going to give you bad news one way or another. And past problems can come back suddenly. Evening nightfall period is much better. There's a planet of arrogance in that whole group, might make you a bit arrogant. So try not to do that. Try to be, instead of being arrogant, be nice, be kind, be friendly, be appreciative, be supportive. And you will tame this planet and people will still love you very much for all that. Well, it's a good planet by the way, it just brings arrogance. You can meet very important people on this Saturday evening nightfall, whether to help you in job, whether to help you in business, whether to help you anywhere. Remember that. Well, that's the week for you. I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50 for a 90 minute Skype session. And during these 90 minutes, I'll have your date of birth and your time of birth and you would have sent me your palms through email. They'll look, they'll be very sharp for me to read. And I'll tackle your next seven or eight years in detail. And when I do all that, it'll be age by age, calendar year by calendar year in detail, covering all areas, telling you what's waiting to happen. And when you already know, you can tackle it. You can, even if I say this couple of years is going to be bad, never mind, you know it well in advance. You know how to maneuver yourself. That's the whole idea. So go to Facebook, go to Skype, send me an email, and let's get down to having these 90 minutes to tackle your next seven or eight years in all areas of your life. And all for USD 50 only. Well, until then, thank you and good luck.